Okay, here's a live look outside. We got more clouds coming into play today. It's 51 in Sacramento. Here's a look at your slice of California, and it definitely shows the difference between uh, today versus yesterday. Now, the temperatures are in the same ballpark, mid-50s for afternoon highs for the Bay and the Delta, 58 coming in for the Valley, 59 coming in for the Foothills, 45 for the Sierra. But we have added on more clouds. That's because we got a weather system out in the Pacific. It is headed this way. Clouds are going to be increasing throughout the day into the overnight and then eventually those clouds will give way to a chance of rainfall tomorrow morning. So here's your hour-by-hour hour forecast. Mid-50s at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Warmest time of the day coming in around 4 o'clock with an afternoon high in the upper 50s. After that, we get to your sunset and you'll see clouds expected in the overnight. So not as cold tomorrow morning because of those clouds, right? More clouds, uh, kind of like throwing an extra blanket on the bed so you don't cool off as much. So we'll be looking at mild temperatures for tomorrow morning. So what's ahead? Well, we got two storm chances. First, this one comes in early Friday, and I don't really want to call it a storm per se, just a few weather systems, because we have had some real storms. This one's just going to be a frontal boundary coming in, and it could touch off a few showers. Now, the second chance comes in late Saturday into Sunday, and that one is also a couple different, uh, a warm front with a cold front and a low pressure system. It's going to be more active than Friday, but I don't, mm, it's not really stormy either, because we've had some atmospheric rivers that were real storms, right? So maybe I should call it a chance of rain coming in Friday and Saturday into Sunday and also a chance of snow showers, heavy Sierra snow showers coming in. Here's your future cast. So clouds are increasing ahead of this frontal boundary. This, all the white and the gray, those are the clouds that are right now overtaking much of the West Coast. This is my frontal boundary. When does it get here? This is Friday, 5 o'clock in the morning. We got a slight chance of showers coming in and then it's gone. So as we move into Saturday, you're going to have clouds, plenty of them, and then you'll see another system coming in. Right now, it looks like it's speeding up to Saturday evening. This is Saturday, 4 o'clock. You'll see one wave coming in, and then you'll see a second wave coming in, and this one looks like it has the best chance for heavy rainfall, and it will be coming in the overnight. That also means heavy snowfall. Winds are going to pick up, and then on the back side of that cold front, a low-pressure system is going to keep the activity in the forecast for Sunday and could trigger some thunderstorms. So it's getting busy. Take a look at how much rainfall. First wave, not really that big Friday. Once you get into Saturday and Sunday, this one has a little bit more oomph to it, right? More than a half of an inch in Sacramento, close to an inch of rainfall in Auburn. So this, if anything, is um, a minor storm system coming into play. Once you get to your future cast, this is the first wave not a big hitter. Now let's tack on beginning Saturday night into Sunday. Total accumulation now getting close to two feet. And that's also going to be for Bear Valley, for Kirkwood, and coming in close to a foot in Blue Canyon. So if you are traveling, heads up. Sierra Snowpack, we are doing wonderfully. Most locations more than 200% of normal. And Sierra Impact's heaviest snowfall early Sunday. Travel delays, chain controls are likely. Snow levels falling as low as 4,500 feet. After that, Dina, more sunshine for next week.